Pro tip for anybody, if you want to make damn sure that you don't have a second date, order her a salad for dinner. So, no, there's plenty of reasons why people don't leave abusive relationships, and it has nothing to do with them liking it. It could be that they don't feel safe if they do leave. Um, it could be that they don't have anything afterwards. So, like, a lot of things with the red pill ideology is you have to be the breadwinner in the relationship. But what happens if you're the breadwinner and you're like, nope, you can't... Uh, you can't work so therefore if and if you do try to leave him you have nothing to go back on you don't have a job you don't have any money you don't have a place to live um like there's a lot of reasons people don't lose leave abu abusive relationships and it has nothing to do with them liking it I said how often is it where a 13 year old is pregnant and it doesn't seem like the dude's probably going to end up in prison at some point in his life Hey, holy shit, people are already here. So we got Mangle, what's up, dude? How's it going, Bat Halo? Also, why and I getting an Apex ad? Um, are you subscribed? You are no longer subscribed, Mangle, that's why. Uh and a Pizza Hut ad. Um, uh, yeah, I know that, but of all the possible ads, why is it Apex and Pizza Hut? That's why I'm asking. Um Do you typically like Apex and Pizza Hut Mangle? That's the real question. Is did the ads get it right? All right, so today's video is a Abba and Preach video where they're going to be reacting to a video called How to Train Your Wife. And I don't search up Apex ever. They said because they fucking wanted to. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, half the ads I get from here, I don't really understand them. So, is it at Donovan Sharp? So is that who... Yeah, that's the red pillar who's giving the advice. How to relationship in the next day. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Alright. Cause she pooped. <laughs> oh what? Suitcase is already by the I told door. You I don't commit to women who take their phones into the bathroom. Why does I that matter? Just one time, okay? Okay. So are we good then? Yep. I called you an Uber. So wait. She just expects or he just expects her to go to the restroom with like just no no enjoyment, just sitting there bored off her ass. How's it going, Soggy? Well titled it How to Domesticate Your Girlfriend, right? That's pretty much how it sounds right there. This is so petty. Right? Call it what you want, but this is how I move, and you've known this from the start. Ladies, Either way, that's too fucking much. In the bathroom. Or swipe for sausage on Tinder while in the shower. Or God knows what else you don't want your man to find out about. That's so cringe. That is so cringe. Hey, Kim wants to go to a concert tonight. Cool. Can I go? Why are you yes, asking? I'm not your father. Well, you said you don't commit to women who go to concerts. Indeed, I did. So what happens from here? Well, you can either choose to go to the concert or stay in a relationship with me. So wait, just because so she's not even allowed to go have fun with her friends? She just has to, like, it's a concert, dude. Phone. My parents have a whole TV in their bathroom and they never use it. Oh, man, just think about what the red pillar would think about that. So I could be like, nope, you can no longer ever use the restroom. Otherwise, you're obviously cheating. All right. So let's keep going. Oh, yeah, that's nice, at least, opening the car door. For now. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. This is a nice hey, restaurant, too. Donovan? Donovan Sharp? How do you pronounce your name, by the way? Adalia? Adalia? Why are you...
flirting. flirting? And How do you pronounce your name? Adelia. That's the. That is the worst flirting I have ever seen. Like I am fucking oblivious when it comes to people flirting with me, but that. No one would have ever suspected that you're flirting with her by asking her what her fucking name is. What a creepy face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I like how he says convo slash like flirting with the hostess in front of your girlfriend. In caps, in front. You want to make sure. I mean, the reservations under his name, is he expecting her to fucking be like, yep, reservation under his name? Sure, she sees you like flirt. It's better. It's not even flirting. Is there a reason for this? Guys, make sure you walk in front of your woman. Do not let her walk in front of you, because the man comes first, and is she behind you? Because she can see if you got cakes or not. Pops. <laughs> huh? What I just say? Oh my Pops. god. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. Sus. <laughs> the only Jesus place I've Christ. been when my girl I walk first is places I don't know. No wonder my girlfriend has me walk in front of her all the time. Fair. Like, let's say I go, we're not in the country, like, say we go to Cuba. We Cuba. Go to Cuba, right? You protect, you just protect. It's just that. Yeah, it's I just, got it. It's just old school way of, of doing things. Yeah, if a bullet comes flying, you're dying. That's just fine. Yeah. Just like then somebody come with a with a with the knife. I'm like, uh, 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 and I could do the whole thing when I die in her arms, you know? Yeah. Die like a real man. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Stupid. You know what makes you die like a real man? What? You got a mustache. All you hair My, like, like fuckers peach in fuzz that I got because I recently shaved. Fucking dweeb. I can't grow a beard. Yeah, I can't really grow a beard either. Comes in patchy, like choice. doesn't should go <laughs> row right here for some you fucking great reason. Man. Choice. Avant garde. <laughs> Yeah, you got beard, I got patches. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little Asian kid who needs hair. I send it to them. Send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she is going to do for uh, uh, appetizer, she's going to go to, with a wood grilled corn, aged cheddar, or spiced bacon. Uh, for dinner, she's going to go with the field green salad mm. and the, uh, the wood grilled main lobster tail. Pro tip for anybody. If you want to make damn sure that you don't have a second date, order her a salad for dinner. I am going to go with the lobster bisque for uh, appetizer, and then I'm going to go with the uh, the lamb loin. Cone across the lamb loin. Uh, medium. Hashtag well-trained woman that can still end up cheating on you. Yeah. Stop. You're doing a lot. And if I'm the waiter, I'm like, what's wrong with this one? Her eyes glued to the floor. She held. Right. If I was that waiter, I'd be like, she is obviously getting abused at home. Hostage. So your girl can't make contact with the waiter. That's why. Hold up. Why? I don't want to hear why. Oh, because it's disrespectful. I'm the man. She should only be looking at me. Let me ask you. When your girl goes to work, does she look people in the eyes or does she never make eye contact? Does she see a male customer and then avert her gaze? What are we talking about? Our, our guy's so insecure now, okay? And I mean, you have to be deeply terrified of being hurt by somebody to think that her making eye contact with somebody at a service job is an issue. Right. And you think that's a sign of well-trained, dude. I Again, that just screams abuse. I think you need to do some healing because I've seen some videos of past traumas you had, and it sounds like you're still living with them. Well. <laughs> Mm -hmm. She's another man and immediately diverts her eyes away from him. Yeah, that's just abuse. <laughs> yeah, it's a fraud. He's not even acting like that with his girl. I think I think he doesn't he doesn't even act like that, folks. They're they're setting up this shit and they're in it together. And that's it. He said, you know what? That's yeah, how we're gonna bamboozle a whole bunch of people. They're definitely in on it together. They're gonna play a role. Maybe that's the role playing game that they do like in the bedroom. But and bitches that like that. Oh, you know what? Let's make Wait, hold on. They like what? 
Well, I need you to clarify on that one, because what do they like? I mean, if you're in an abusive relationship and you don't leave, I'm guessing you... So... <laughs> So, no, there's plenty of reasons why people don't leave r abusive relationships, and it has nothing to do with them liking it. It could be that they don't feel safe if they do leave. Um, it could be that they don't have anything afterwards. So, like, a lot of things with the red pill ideology is you have to be the breadwinner in the relationship. But what happens if you're the breadwinner and you're like, nope, you can't... Uh, you can't work so therefore if even if you do try to leave him you have nothing to go back on you don't have a job you don't have any money you don't have a place to live um like there's a lot of reasons people don't lose leave abu abusive relationships and it has nothing to do with them liking it make some money with that and we're gonna do that we're gonna play that i'm that kind of guy but i'm not but that's a con that's a con. That's not real. That's not how he really acts. He's not really like that with his girl. And it's just really just to get you guys. And I don't even know if it works or whatever, but no, that's not it. The acting is so bad. It's not real shit. It's not real. It's scripted. It's so bad. It's, it's very so bad. bad. It is very you bad. Really, that's entertaining, but that, that's not it. That's not, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. If you think, if you really think that that's really how life works, God damn, my guy. Well, you're sad too. And that's not how life works. You're that's sad and you are probably going to remain now, single. Your origin story from Donovan himself at 32. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you guys the Reader's Digest version. I started paralegal school when I was 31 years old. And there is this, uh, there is this hot, hot 19 year old in my class. We took a shot so to 32 other, and 19. Right? It was a great relationship. We spent Holy every day shit, together. That's blah, 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 blah. Age difference. Red flag number one that I didn't even. Was, yeah, I've seen it in person. I mean, my only guess is that abuse, like, there's no way that that's a real relationship. Like, fuck, if you're not able to talk to whoever you want to, you're not able to look at whoever you want to, even if it doesn't, not, it's not in a flirty way. Like, you see a guy and you immediately have to divert your eyes. What happens if one day you accidentally fucking don't divert your eyes fast enough? And think about one day I had a headache in class. She says, what's wrong? I said, well, I've got a headache. She's like, all right, reaches into her purse and she gives me this big white pillow. I'm like, what is that? She says, it's Vicodin. And I'm, what's a 19 year old doing with a bag full of Vicodin, right? Red flag number um... two, she had homemade tattoo on her wrist. Stay with me. Red flag number three, she had a six year old. She was 19, 19 years old. Who holy had a six -year -old, fuck. Which means what class? She had her child at 13, 13. which means she was That's ridiculous. At 12. It gets even better. The baby daddy was in prison at the time we were dating. Shocker. Oh, statutory, Shocker. Statutory EPAR. Does anyone know anyone that's 13, uh, a, a female that's 13 with a baby that it's suspected that their significant other won't end up in prison? <laughs> Here's Jesus the reason why Christ. they didn't throw the book at him with Jessica's Law. It's because she testified to the jury that she seduced him, and the jury actually bought it. Cap! Which part? Cap! Which part? All the part. All the parts. You know, I kind of do believe that part, just because there is that whole believe all woman mantra out there. Um, granted, we don't know how old he is. Yeah, in sixth grade class, a girl was pregnant with a 23... Yeah, that, I don't, I don't know if you know this, Glow. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying that, okay, I understand now. Took, my slow ass mind took me a moment. Um, yeah, dude's, dude's probably gonna end up in prison. Like, cause let's hear, how old are you typically in sixth grade? Like, fuck, you gotta be, like, 12 or 13 at that age. And then with a 23-year-old, that is some creepy fucking shit right there. The whole thing. You want this real? It's all caps. What? Caps. It's all caps. Ass cap. Why do you want this real? A jury's not gonna believe... Uh, 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 no. In America, I've seen worse. She left her account open on my computer on Facebook. 
I scrolled through, saw all kinds of stuff, drove to her place. I said, I want you to be honest with me. Have you cheated on me? I wanted her to lie to me. And I, I wanted her to lie to me. Why would you want her to lie? Her to lie? She said, honestly, yes. That is the worst. The worst emotional pain I've ever felt in my life. Well, to this day, you I fucking, will. what do you I, think? Dude, I went to her bathroom. You look like you were, off the necklace. you seem as if you're a fucking straight edge dude. So you fucking obviously don't do drugs, but like you were like, oh yeah, she just has a bag of pills. Let's date her. Um, fucking huge red flag. Fucking thirteen, or I'm sorry, nineteen with a fucking six year old. That's pretty fucking insane. And then I don't remember what the third one was, but I mean, did you really expect anything different? She's blowing, me up, she's blowing me up at work all day long. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't pick up the phone. So finally, I picked up the phone. She's like, hey, I'm sorry, you know, I want to spend the... Well, she was mentally low in a special ed, but when I was in fifth grade, she was supposed to be in six, so a year held back. So yeah, like 12. That's... And yeah, like I said, how often is it where a 13-year-old is pregnant and doesn't seem like the dude's probably going to end up in prison at some point in his life? The rest of my life with you da, 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 da. she's like look i want to come to your place i have a birthday surprise for you so she comes over she has like this little cupcake and she bought me a watch that she knew i was looking at then she turns around lifts up I her shirt you, there was my name tattooed on the small of her back dude my hand to the man so i was back in her i was back in her clutches things went all it was all downhill from there how long were they dating and she got a tattoo of him um i've been dating nicole for six years and i still wouldn't get a tattoo of her name on me no, it's just like that. Guys, this story gets so much worse. How old were you? I was 31. I was 31 what? years old. Yeah. So 22. Hold up. I believe this is real. 12 year difference. If I can do the fucking years math. Of age, you got played by a 19 year old. Good lord. It, it fucking zoomed in for way this too fucking really long there. She continued cheating on me, right? So I'm always trying to catch her. I lost my job. I lost the place that I was at. I, the car that I had was paid for because I paid cash for it. It broke down. I didn't have a job, so I couldn't get it fixed. I'm evicted. I ended up having to live with a couple of her, a couple of her drug addict friends in a quasi crack house. And I kept, I, I kept trying to get back with her. September 16th, baby daddy gets out of prison. Okay, baby daddy gets out of prison. He knows I the date to September the 15th. I like said, exact you know time, I day, I hour, still, I think minute. You still love ben. I can't do it anymore. Dude, she cried her eyes out. <laughs> Hung up the phone. I stayed up all night long. I couldn't sleep. So I called her up. I called her up the next day. I was like, hey, um, you know, meet me at this, meet me at this gas station. Then I called up my brother and I borrowed eight hundred dollars. He gave me eight hundred dollars. I went to the jewelry store. I bought her a ring, proposed to her. Oh I proposed fucking to her. <laughs> so it just sounds like he's just fucking stupid. This guy was a cornball at eighteen when he frauded his father. He was a cornball at 31 as a career criminal who was borrowing money from his family to buy a ring for a crackhead 19-year-old. And he's a cornball in his 40s when he's lying about his girl being a single mom, even though he said he would never date a girl like that. This guy just stays being a horn cornball. Now, I don't what the like fuck is a cornball? Pairs, but when your past looks like your present, boo-boo. I mean, <laughs> bro, she's 19. It's not that special. Right. She's an attract it's not that fucking special. twelve year Even difference, it's it not is. that special. It's because you're a loser. Yep. That's it. And it's okay. But when you get on these platforms and trying to educate men like you top dog, but then we just have to look at your history and find out, oh, you bottom bitch. <laughs> I, listen, it gets worse. That is a worse. fucking understatement, bro. People want listen. People wonder why I speak with such conviction about these things, dude. Is that just pearly? That looks like just pearly. Look, it gets worse. It gets worse. So she says yes, right? So now you know all of her friends are like, oh, she's getting engaged. Well, eventually she started getting the baby daddy behind my back. Of course. So we were in this we were in this love triangle. Anytime she was pissed off at me, she'd go and f him. Anytime she was pissed off at him. She would come and uh, she would come and me. So finally, on Thanksgiving, um, this girl calls me up and tells me that she was now engaged to be married to Ben. Right? I'm crushed. I'm heartbroken. I'm crestfallen. During the summer, what happened to the fucking the summer, ring? You came. She was already a small girl. Yeah. She lost an exorbitant amount of weight. I found out that she was shooting heroin all summer long. Well, if she's losing that much fucking weight. <laughs> Hold on.
So you're telling me that you had no idea when she fucking first off, you knew that she was a druggie. You knew her friends were fucking crackheads. And then on top of that, fucking she starts losing weight and you're fucking surprised that she's doing other harder drugs. Let's keep listening to this. But it gets worse. Go on. So anyway, she got arrested for possession. The guy, the people I was staying with had called the cops and ratted her out. So now she's in jail, right? And of, and of course, I have to save my fair maiden. I called up an old roommate and borrowed $1,350 to bail her out. Jesus out, Christ. I love you, I love you. Then goes right back to Ben. This is why people you always are wonder so why I'm such, a, I'm such a dumb. I'm so passionate and I'm so sure. I have seen the worst. I've been in the because worst Because you were worst fucking situations. stupid and you probably still are. That's my version, and that's it. Forgive me. This guy's a big fraudster, and if he's not frauding, or he's not frauding, then he's a giant simp loser. Who basically took Emphasis money on giant simp loser. I saw the worst of the worst. I, it was him. all your decisions. That's why you saw the worst of the worst. It was all you. Yep, <laughs> literally every decision was because every bad thing, thing that here, happened to him there was because of his at poor decisions. You were getting lost in the sauce over 19-year-olds? Good Lord. Well, hey, man, listen. I ain't got much commentary for this one. This guy's just a big dweeb. Dude's every just fucking I watch dumb. Videos, I'm just like, this is the person you guys are taking cues from? This is the kind of relationship y'all want to emulate? Okay. You have to ask yourself, if he's one of the only or the few people spreading the truth, quote unquote, why is it that he can't apply any of that to his life to lead something that seems quite desirable? And that's how you know the skits at the beginning were definitely fake. Oh, absolutely fake. not. All right, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Jesus Christ. What a fucking moron.